everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and I am back up on the Crafty Maven getaway with a stash it. So I was looking at my stash and I pulled open this drawer that I keep all of my Christmas stuff in and it's a freaking mess. Oh my goodness. Like obviously when I was done with Christmas, I shoved everything Christmas into this one drawer and shut it. And so if you head over to the blog, I do have a photo of that crazy messy drawer. So I decided to pull out that drawer and pull some stuff out. So this is all from my stash, from that drawer. The background paper is from a Christmas paper pad and the scraps of paper you see there are literally just scraps. And the only one that I changed the size on is the one that is on the top and bottom. Otherwise, I used everything in the size it was. I just decided to layer them up and kind of go from there. So I have this picture of my kids. It's um, my daughter is giving my son a hug, thanking him for what he got her for Christmas, which I don't even know what he ended up getting her. <laughs> um she might remember, so I'm going to have to ask her and see if she remembers so I can write it down. Um, she was excited about it. It obviously was something she wanted, but I can't remember what it is. So this is going to be a fairly simple layout. Um, I did use those brads up in the corner as my color inspiration. So when I was going through pulling the items, then that's kind of what I went off of. So I was contemplating on cutting down my photo, but then I was like, okay, I got to get my, my title on here first. So from the, my mind's eye, I have these huge letters, like these are crazy large. And I think it can spell out December daily, tis the season, and maybe another word, but they're ginormous. Like, and I have two of them. I'm not even sure how I have two packs of them. So I have a feeling that one of those we're doing a pay it forward box. I have a feeling it's going to make it in there. If not, uh, it's going on the take it table at retreat because I don't need two of them. That's just crazy. So I did kind of test them out to make sure that I could actually fit Tis the Season on a page, basically the season part because that's the longest word. And since it all fit, that is going to be kind of the main element. So now I'm going to add my photo and kind of go through the other items that I pulled from my stash. So I have that cute little toothpick with it's a felt Christmas tree on top and then there is some washi tape and these brads which were my inspiration so that tag says wish list and so that's kind of where all the colors came from that's why I chose to do a blue background and then I have this label piece and it's just not quite big enough there. Like I feel like something big needs to go there. Like the embellishment cluster is just, I don't know, it's kind of floating even though it's grounded on that plaid paper, it just seems floated. So I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. I add the label to the bottom and then I pull a couple of the other brads and scatter them around. So then I dig through and I find this crazy old um, sticker sheet and the colors go. It's the red and the blue and kind of that metallic-y finish. So I'm going to add that big piece that seems to fit the, the area much better, which is just Santa and the reindeer. And then a little sticker that says Holly Jolly and the little candy piece and this other one that says joy. And I feel like that kind of balances it out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my little uh, memory keeper pokey tool 
and add these brads in several different spots. And when I add the brads to like the tag and that label down at the bottom, I actually take them out. I will add adhesive to the back and stick it where I want. And then it already has the pre-made holes so I know exactly where to uh, poke it so that I can put the brads back in. And that works out pretty well for me. And I'm gonna do the same with this one up there. So there's not a lot of journaling on this. Um, I do extend the title to say, tis the season to be nice to your siblings. That's what I wrote on the tab at the bottom because um, my kids don't hug very often. So when they hug, I definitely have to <laughs> take a picture of that. And then on the wish list portion, um, it would have been nice to put what she got, but I, I didn't think about it. So we do four gifts for Christmas. They get something they want, something they need, something to wear, and something to read. And then Santa brings them something. So there were five things on that list, and that's what I put down. So just for some finishing touches, I am adding some sequins from the July Miss uh, release from July from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Um, and they just match perfectly. I love, I love, love, love how they look. And I'm just using my fine line bottle with some scotch tacky glue. And, and that's going to do it for this page. So I highly encourage you to dig through your stash and, and pull some stuff out and make a page, especially stuff that you've kind of been sitting in your stash going, I just don't even know what I'm going to do with it, like these big letters. Um, so I encourage you to do that and then head over to the Facebook page and the blog because um, there's tons of inspiration and we post pretty much every day on this channel too. So come back tomorrow. Remember to wear your crown. Bye.